it's actually maybe the part you've been waiting for. How did I get the lights to work? Well, this time it's pretty simple. I mean, it's kind of simple. The end solution, I think, is... Let's use the word elegant. Let me know if you agree. I'm using optic fibers to quote unquote move the light around to the other side of the enclosure. I'm sure you've seen this before. A lot of people use them to make fake starry sky ceilings in their house, or sometimes you see them in like limos and other kind of fancy vehicles. The idea is pretty simple. The light enters one side and illuminates the other side of the fiber. Now this is the polar opposite of the solution I designed in the first place. There are no electronics and there are no parts that can fail, just the fibers. But that's not to say that this is all super simple. I basically had to design the enclosure with a channel for the fibers. I also had to cut and jam all the fibers through the enclosure. But overall, not too bad. After getting all the fibers counted and crammed and cut, I then made a little cover out of clear PETG and slid it into the slot that I designed into the box. Finally, to mount this outside, I needed some brackets. I just got these at the big box store and I had some pre-designed holes in the bottom of the enclosure for them to attach. I used washers to fine tune the placement outside and get the alignment exactly right. But does it actually work? Yeah, well, mostly. 